Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I have some more outfit tutorials for you. As always, if you enjoy the video then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to my channel where you can find a bunch of different outfit tutorials and glitches such as this one. If you have an outfit which you'd like to send to me for a chance to be showcased on the channel then please do make sure that you send it to either militatedyt at gmail.com or to my Instagram which is officialmilitated. If you would like me to do any videos which aren't GTA outfits then please do let me know in the comments below but with all of that being said we are now ready to get onto this video. We're going to start off by going into the clothing store and browsing the pants section. We're then going to go into the cargo pants category and we're going to purchase the full camo cargo. Once you have done that we're then going to back out and head over to the top section. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to go into utility tops. Once again, go down to the bottom and equip the tan combat top. Ok so now that we have both of those items on, we're going to head over to the shoe section. For this particular outfit you can either go for the brown tech boots which is what I'm going for or you can go for the black tech boots if you like. But you know for me I think that the brown tech boots work the best with these pants. Either way we're then going to back out of the shoe section and we're going to start heading over to the accessory section. We're then going to start browsing as soon as we get to it and we're going to go into the scarves category. From here we're going to purchase the tan desert scarf and then go into gloves. Now we're going to go down to the bottom and scroll up until we get to the tan wool gloves. After doing that we can then back out of the accessory section and open up the interaction menu. Now go into inventory and body armour and equip the super heavy armour. Now that we have the base of the outfit completed we're going to head over to the outfit section and make sure that we save it. After saving it we're then going to head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. At this point we're then going to start browsing the mask section and we're going to go into the headscarves category. Now from here we're going to scroll through until we get down to the full snood. The word snood sounds really weird to me so we're going to call it the half scarf for the rest of the video. But for now we're going to head over to the telescopes at Del Piro Pier. Simply sprint towards the telescope and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Your character should just stand there without a mask, now it might take a few attempts but once you've done it just open up your interaction menu. Now go down to style and equip the outfit that we saved in the clothing store a little while ago. When you walk away from the telescope the half scarf should then reappear. After that we are then going to head back over to the mask store. Just as a side note I would recommend having a helicopter with you at this point. Ok so we're going to browse the hat section of the store and we're going to make sure that we save the outfit before we continue. The next step is to then go into the biker helmets category of the hat section and we're going to go and purchase any of the dome helmets. For example I decided to purchase the chrome dome. Before we get onto the glitch we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and make sure that auto show aircraft helmet is set to on. I'd also recommend keeping auto show bike helmet on as well. So now we're going to go up to where it says outfit and you're going to scroll along to the one that you just saved but do not equip it. Instead we're going to go up to where it says parachute and we're going to press triangle to enter the vehicle which in this case is the helicopter. Now go back down to outfit and equip it as soon as your character sits down. Ok now we're going to close the interaction menu and exit the helicopter. Now as quickly as you can you're going to run back over to the hat section and start browsing. If your character takes the helmet off before you start browsing then you're going to need to do the glitch again. Timing is very important on that whole glitch so it might take a few attempts to do. So we're now ready to move on to the next stage of the glitch. Now we're going to get into the helicopter and head over to the jet skis which are just before the pier. I decided to drastically speed up the journey but once you get to the jet skis you're simply going to get onto one of them. Doing this will then make the dome helmet disappear which is what we need. One side effect of this glitch is that your hair does look very weird when you take the helmet off. As you can probably see it looks like my character has covered his head in shit but we will sort that out later on. For now though we're going to leave the beach and we're going to head over to ammunition. So as I pretty much do in every single video we're going to make sure that we have purchased a parachute. After that we're then going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. Now for this outfit we're going to use the tan combat shoot bag. I'm forever wishing that Rockstar will add more camo shoot bags but it just seems to be one of those things they keep on missing. For now though we're going to head over to the top section and make sure that we save the outfit before we continue. Now I don't really do this next part much in any of the other videos but I believe it is absolutely essential for this particular outfit. As I mentioned earlier on the half scarf glitch does make your character's hair look very strange. With that being said there are also some hairstyles which do look really good. When you sit in the seat the half scarf is going to disappear and your hair is going to look normal again. But what we're going to do is select the hairstyle called cornrows and we're going to make sure that we set it to black. I mean if you want to change up the colours then by all means go ahead. 
I'd advise staying away from the browns and go for something like red, green, blue, yellow, you know, something vibrant. Because when we get out of the chair and the hair glitches again, it's going to almost look as if it's tattooed. Moving on to the last aspect of this outfit, we're then going to go into makeup and then go into eye. From here we're going to scroll down the list and we're going to purchase the heavy metal makeup. Obviously make sure it's on 100% so that you can actually see it. The half scarf will then reappear when you get out of the chair, but you might also notice that it now has the normal hat back on it. When you try to open up the interaction menu and change back to the outfit that we've saved, the half mask is then not going to reappear. In order to fix this, you're going to need something like a motorbike or a car. We're going to go up to where it says parachute and press triangle to get onto the bike or into the car, and you're going to equip the outfit as your character sits down. After doing that, you should then notice that you now have the half scarf back on and you now look like you have a tattooed head. Just before we move on to the next outfit, I'd like to say a very big thank you to Rambo on Acid for sending in that half scarf glitch. I believe he is the founder of the glitch, so once again, thank you very much for sending it to me. So the next outfit is going to be pretty easy to make considering that most of the outfit is already made for us. In order to start this outfit off, what we're going to need to do is head over to the nearest clothing store. From here we're going to start browsing the outfit section and we're going to go down to where it says outfits flight suits. Unfortunately these are pretty expensive at about $80,000 but we are going to purchase the grey wooden flight suit. Next we're going to back out of the outfit section and we're going to head over to glasses. We're going to go into sports glasses and purchase the grey scale urban ski. The last thing we need from the clothing store is to go over to the hat section and go into combat helmets. From here we're going to purchase the grey woodland quad lens which again is quite expensive. Just before we move on to the next step, we're going to make sure that we save the outfit. If you don't save it then you're pretty much going to need to redo the whole thing so you know just make sure that you save it. With that being done, we are then going to leave the clothing store and head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. As we did before, we're going to start browsing the mask section and we're going to go into the headscarves category. I'm not too sure why but this menu seems to be really slow but we're going to scroll down until we get to the grey woodland wrapped. When you equip that you should then notice that the flight suit and everything else has disappeared but do not worry. At this point we're then going to head over to the telescopes at Del Piero Pier like we did with the first outfit. Again just sprint towards the telescope and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. You should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope and you shouldn't have the mask on anymore. Open up the interaction menu and go into style and go down to outfit. Now scroll along to the one that we saved earlier on and equip it. When you walk away from the telescope you should then notice that the headscarf will reappear with the rest of the outfit. So we have one last stop to make and that is ammunition, so we're going to start browsing the weapon section and make sure that we have purchased the parachute as usual. We're going to back out of the weapon section and open up the interaction menu. Now go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. For this outfit we're going to go for the grey combat shoot bag but you can also go for the black one if you like. As I said before I really do wish that Rockstar will add some new camo shoot bags because these ones just do not match anymore. If you'd prefer not to have a parachute then that is absolutely fine, but we're now going to head over to the outfit section of the store and make sure that we save the outfit. As a side note, hold right on the d-pad to put the thermal lenses back down or up. We are now ready to move on to the last outfit and I decided to go for the woodland camo because it just works really well. If I'm completely honest, most of the camo patterns in this game look terrible, but woodland is something that actually looks decent. Like we did with the other two outfits, we're going to start off in the clothing store. Start browsing the pants section and go into the cargo pants category. Purchase the light woodland cargoes and then back out. We're now going to head over to the top section and go down to the sports jackets category. Head down to the bottom of the list and start scrolling up until we get to the woodland camo bigness puffer. I'm not too sure why the camo pattern on the pants is much larger than the one on the top but it is what it is. We're going to go over to the shoe section and start browsing the boots category. Now we're going to go up the list until we get to the black tech boots. <laughs> I decided to go for these boots because they are actually black and they match the jacket. Most black clothing items in this game are more of a grey so it's nice to see something that is actually black. For the next part of the outfit we're going to back out of the shoe section and head over to accessories. When we eventually get there we're going to start browsing and go down to where it says gloves. We're going to purchase the light woodland tactical and then we're going to back out and head over to the glasses section. Simply just head into sports glasses and purchase the brown urban ski. Ok so now that we have done that we can back out and head over to the hat section. Go into canvas hats and scroll down until you get to the light woodland boonie down. Ok we're now going to back out of the hat section and open up the interaction menu. Now go into inventory and body armour and equip the light armour. Just before we leave the store as we normally do we're going to make sure that we save the outfit. Once it's been saved we're then going to head out of the clothing store and go back down to the mask store. Start browsing the mask section and go down to the headscarves category like we have done twice before. 
This time though we're going to go down to the bottom and start scrolling up until we get to the brushstroke loose. Not sure why it has a different name for the rest of the woodland stuff, but for now we're going to head over to the telescopes at Del Perry Pier. You guys must be professionals at this glitch by now, but just in case, you're going to need to sprint towards the telescope and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Your character should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope and you should also notice that you are no longer wearing the mask. It might take a few attempts to do it, but once you have, you're going to open up the interaction menu. Now we're going to go into style and go down to outfit and scroll along to the one that we saved in the clothing store. We're then going to walk away from the telescope and you should notice that the headscarf will then reappear onto the outfit. It's at this point that we leave the pier and we're going to head down to the nearest ammunition. Start browsing the weapon section and make sure that we have purchased a parachute. We're then going to back out and open up the interaction menu and go to style and parachute and make sure it's set to on. For this particular outfit we're going to use the black combat shoe bag as it matches the bottom of the coat and the boots. Having done that we're then going to head over to the top section of the store and we're going to make sure that we save the outfit before we move on to the last bit. After it's been saved we're then going to back out of the top section and open up the interaction menu. Now go into style and go down to outfit and equip any random outfit that you have. We're now going to go to the gear section which is in the middle of the store and purchase the night vision. After equipping that we're then going to leave the ammunition and head over to the nearest yacht. Now I know that not everyone has a yacht so if you do not have one then make sure that you fly around in a public free mode session until you find a random yacht. Open up the weapon wheel and equip something like the RPG and aim it down at your feet. Slowly walk towards the hot tub until your clothes disappear. You're then going to fire the RPG and launch yourself away from the hot tub so that you die with your clothes on. When you finally respawn you should then notice that you no longer have the ski mask under the night vision. So what we're going to do now is leave the yacht and head back down to the ammunition. We're then going to start browsing the outfit section and we're going to save the outfit in a random slot. Just to make sure that you don't overwrite the outfit that we're making. The next step is to then back out and open up your interaction menu. Now we're going to style and switch to a random outfit and then switch back. That might seem pointless but it is very important, so we're now going to close the interaction menu and go back into the outfit section of the store. Go into outfit saved and scroll to the outfit that we are making and you should then notice that the night vision has transferred over. Simply just equip the outfit and then make sure that you resave it so that you keep the night vision. The night vision might not show up sometimes when you join a new session, so if that is the case then just go into your interaction menu and re-equip the outfit twice and it should then reappear. Having done all of that we are now finished with all three outfits. So thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel where you can find a bunch of different outfit tutorials and glitches such as this one. If you have an outfit which you'd like to send to me then please do make sure that you send it to militatedyt at gmail.com or to my Instagram which is officialmilitated. Like I said at the start if you guys want me to make more videos which aren't GTA outfits then please do let me know what you would like. Of course I'm going to continue with the GTA outfits as that's my main focus but if you'd like something else then please do let me know. But once again guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.